What is up my fellow gamers? In today's video, we are going over everything you need to know about season one in Metal Slug Awakening. Also, we got a hint, uh, maybe a leak at a brand new character that is coming very soon. All right, in order to access the seasonal features, we're gonna click on that right corner where it says season. We're gonna put these little goggles on and everything's gonna kind of transform. Uh, first thing we'll go over is the leaked hero. We're gonna head on over to where it says seasonal treasure. And then we're gonna Ooh. scroll down just a little bit. Right here, we have a character token that we can buy from the seasonal exchange. But this character isn't actually in the game yet, at least for us. I am on North America server four. I imagine we'll have access to this character at the end of the season, because if we do take a look at our character list, that one does not even show up as a possible unlock. So we have a new character coming. I'm not sure if they're a spec ops or a firepower. It'll be interesting to see what that is about. Let's go over the seasonal journey first because I think that's pretty, pretty important. In the top left corner, we're going to click where it says season with the little character running. Now, the seasonal journey, this is pretty similar to if you've ever played any type of base building war game, 4X game, when they have their seasons and stuff. They have these little journeys and over time, new features will unlock. You're also gonna have these little challenges that you need to complete as well, usually as like a club or like as a whole server. So at the bottom, we have one, two, three, and four. Currently, we are on season journey four. And if we take a look at the requirements, at least 20 club members have cleared a joint operation Abyss difficulty three. We have done that, so we got 50 sapphires. We can also take a look and see in the details area all of the clubs in our server that have currently completed this challenge. Now at the top, this is the important thing, and this is what we're more interested in, is the new features. So every time we go to one of these new increments at the bottom, new features are going to unlock for seasonal play. So right now we have the Abyss mode of joint operation. This just unlocked for us yesterday. We also have Abyss score and also the Breeze Prairie difficulty has been reduced and that is in the Abyss Rift. So if you're struggling in the Abyss Rift to get through that, then the difficulty has been reduced. Now we can see when we will have access to the next journey if we click on number five, and at the bottom right here, it's gonna say time left before start. So we got two days and 22 hours and 12 minutes before this fifth one opens up. And then we're gonna have some more new functions. So then we're gonna have the frigid permafrost, the medium strong points are gonna open up. Next, let's go over the seasonal treasure and how this works. We have the season exchange, and these are a bunch of different items that you can purchase at the end of a season. I'm gonna go over what my personal picks are. You can get merit badges two different ways. The first is gonna be from your highest abyss score. So that's just going ahead and doing the joint operation abyss. Based on how high your score is, you're going to get a different amount of these merits. So if you click the little question mark icon, we can see that if our portion of the abyss score is under 10,000, we will have our merit badges converted at a rate of 40%. And then once we go over that 10,000 threshold, it is only gonna be converted at a rate of 20%. So right now, currently, if the season one ended right, right now, we are expected to get about 30 merit badges because we only have 76 for our highest abyss score. We can see in the top right corner, it says exchanges are available at the end of S1. So we can't go ahead and buy anything yet until S1 is over. The other way is if we go to merit rewards, it's gonna be based on our club. So better rewards for higher rankings. We can see our merit ranking right now for club and also our personal. If we click where it says ranking, we can get a breakdown of our club. Currently my club is seventh. And then we can also go to reward rules as well. And we can see the club merit ranking along with club member merit ranking. Depending on your personal member ranking and also your club as a whole, there's kind of like two different rankings depending on where your club ranks and then where you personally rank as well. And then you can see your rewards here off to the right. You can go ahead and get like 300 merit badges, 500 sapphires, 
and then gem materials as well if you get in that rank one to ten and also your club merit ranking is one as well next if we head on over to where it says season mark these are kind of like titles that you can acquire once you go ahead and you complete whatever the task is for this first one this warrior one we need to have an S1 Abyss score needs to reach 4,000. Currently, we are 76 out of 4,000. Once we go ahead and we reach 4,000, we will unlock this title, this display, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to get these bonus effects. So our team attack is going to be plus 600, and our team attack is going to be 0.2%. We go to the hall of glory we need to go ahead and we need to equip these once you go ahead and you unlock one of these you still need to equip it as well so you'd go to hall of glory and then you're going to go ahead to hall of glory click this little plus icon where it has the little pedestal you're going to click this and then you're just going to go ahead and click add whatever mark you have right now i don't have any marks but once we do have a mark, we would just click it and we'll add it right there. So make sure you go ahead and you do that. Otherwise you will not get the bonuses. So you need to see that title displayed here. And then we also have another one for journey 13. Once we go ahead and our abyss score reaches 9,000, we'll unlock this crystal purifier, but this says journey 13. So we need to be in seasonal journey 13 before we even can go ahead and unlock this. So even if we reach 9,000 points, before journey 13 we will not have this unlocked and then the last one we have the s1 settlement s1 abyss score reaches 12,000. we'll go ahead and we'll get this and this is at the end of a season also to note that your titles for your hall of glory these do transfer over so these won't reset there are a lot of things that do reset from season to season. Also, your merit badges will carry over to the next season as well. So let's say you have a certain amount and you don't have anything you actually wanna buy. These will just transfer over to season two. What does go ahead and get reset is pretty much a lot of the seasonal content. So like the seasonal journey, this will get reset your uh, abyssal rift so at the beginning of season two everyone is going to go ahead and start on that edge again where the breeze prairie uh, land is considered also your score for the abyssal operation as well as your progress through this will be reset as well in the top right corner we can see our season one abyss score we also have three additional things to check out we have our abyss talents our crystal technology and then finally the ultimate talent the ultimate talent doesn't unlock until you reach level 110. So if you can try and get to level 110 as fast as possible because the ultimate talent really does help out a lot. As far as the best items to buy in the seasonal exchange, my first suggestion is gonna be the limited gems. I think the limited gems are amazing and they're gonna boost your character stats by a ton. But I would say to go with a character, whoever is your main firepower DPS, so for me, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get the exclusive gem reward for Lila. It's gonna cost me 1500 merit badges and you can choose whichever one you want. And these are gonna have special effects that are exclusive to that character. So for Lila at the bottom, we see it's gonna increase the duration of the elite puffer summoned by Lila by 35%. Uh, your gem purchases are limited. You're gonna see at the top limited gems, Purchase limit is one. And then we have our special items over here. And these are going to be limited as well, depending on which item you're buying. We have our fallen star fragments limited to 15. And then we have some character tokens limited to 50. Again, this is gonna depend on whatever you're looking for. If you wanna try and get the new character, then obviously you're gonna buy the tokens for the new character. Otherwise, if you have an already established main DPS like me for Lila, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and get as many Lila tokens as I can. The fallen star fragments I think are only really good if you're kind of close to unlocking this weapon because you need a hundred of these fragments and you're only gonna be able to buy 15 of these. So, I mean, you're gonna waste a lot of your merit badges and you're just gonna have 15 fragments just sitting around, not really contributing anything to the next season. Whereas you could go ahead and you could spend those merits to get a bunch of tokens for like one of your main characters and, and promote them and make them a lot stronger for the next season. That is it. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. Stay happy, stay safe. I'll see you later. Peace.